Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're gonna read Cecilia Pine for Skin. Thank you. Born in England in 1900, Cecilia Pine got both skin, always had a passion for learning and science. She attended Cambridge University and was inspired by a lecture on how solar eclipses relate to Einstein's theory of general relative, relativity, which got her hooked on physics and astronomy. Cambridge did not have a lot of opportunities for women and did not offer them advanced degrees. Cecilia moved from Cambridge to England to Cambridge, Massachusetts and started a fellowship with Harvard College Observatory, figuring out what the sun and stars are made of. There's, the stars could be viewed in a different way by attaching a spectrum to a telescope. This tool allowed scientists to see a rainbow, rainbow of colors. The stellar spectra coming from the stars reading the gaps in the rainbow, also known as absorption lines revealed what types of elements were in the stars. Scientists at the time thought that stars were built like the Earth, but Cecilia proved them wrong. Her background in quant physics gave her new insight to, into reading stellar spectra. She already knew that the extremely hot sun would cause atoms to Ionize. Different ionization states would show up as different absorption lines on the stellar spectra. With her fresh perspective, it was now Cecilia's job to figure out the elements to which these ions could belong. She discovered that the sun is made mostly of hydrogen and helium gas. This was so controversial that the respected astronomer Henry Russell told her it was impossible. She completed her thesis paper with a side note saying that she was probably wrong. She turned her paper into a book, Stellar Atmospheres, published in 1925. Many other astronomers re read the book, and in a few years, the scientific community realized how right she was. Her work changed astronomy and thought scientists how to properly read stellar spectra. Despite Cecilia's accomplishment being a woman, meant she was only recognized as a technical assistant at Harvard. Finally, in 1963-66-56, she became Harvard's first female astronomy professor. Her work was giving us a better understanding of the life cycles of stars and our universe. Thank you for watching, click down below and subscribe and do you like?